Hello, welcome to another OnlyFans video. If you don't already know or you're new here, I make videos all about OnlyFans, how to grow, how to gain subscribers, how to promote, how to make content. And today we're gonna be talking about how to price your OnlyFans content. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I also make videos all about my life as a creator, as a wife. So if you're interested in more OnlyFans content or more lifestyle content, I do all of the above. Now, let's jump into today video topic, which is going to be how to price your OnlyFans content. Now I have made so many videos about OnlyFans and somehow I haven't made a dedicated video on how to price your OnlyFans content. I think that is because this is such a personal part of OnlyFans. So many people take it to heart. Like, you know, what am I worth? And I do want to put this out there. You are worth whatever you want to be worth. And a price tag isn't your actual worth. This is like making art. It doesn't mean that your art is only worth the amount that you sell it for. Anything in life can be priced at any point. So let me just start by saying whatever you price your content at is not your self-worth and it is also completely up to you. Now what I'm going to be sharing in this video is my best advice for pricing your content and you can take this with a grain of salt or you can take this by to heart or you can take this and adjust it to fit your needs and what you feel comfortable doing. Let's start by talking about the two different types of OnlyFans pages that you can have. So you can either have a free page or a paid page. And a paid page obviously is going to have a subscription price to it. And a free page is gonna be free. Anyone can hit join and subscribe to your page without having to pay anything to see your initial feed. So those are the two differences. And there are pros and cons to having either. A paid page, you cannot have anything locked on your actual feed. Everything is viewable to everybody. But you can still have locked content in your your messages. A free page, anything that you post on your wall can be seen to people, but you can also lock content on your actual feed, which is kind of nice because if you send a pay-per-view message out, it goes to all of your followers at the time, but it never gets sent out again unless you physically send it out again. Whereas with a free page, if you post something to your page, you can actually lock that message with a paywall over it. And anybody that comes onto your feed can see, oh, you can pay $3 or however much amount to see this piece of content. So those are the differences. Let's talk about subscription prices for your OnlyFans. If you are going to do a paid OnlyFans page, I actually have both a free page and a paid page and I'll explain why I have both, but I don't recommend both. I recommend doing whatever you have time for and if you don't have time for two, then you should only just focus on one. Let's talk about subscription price for a paid page. This is all really up to you, but I'm going to give you what's I would say standard for the industry. I would say standard is anywhere from the lowest amount to about $20, $25. I would say most people standard for the industry, this is not everybody, but most people stay between the five and $15 range. So I've seen most people price theirs around $10, um, give or take. Now mine is at $18. <laughs> I started mine back in 2020 and it was at $30. I realized it was a bit too high. What you want to think about is how much would someone pay for like, say a Netflix subscription? You know, they're getting all these types of movies and everything. Think about yourself as a consumer and how much you would want to pay to see explicit content. Like I said, it is still up to you what you choose, but how much do you feel you would pay for and for how much content you're actually supplying per month? So if you're posting every single day and you're also sending out free content and you're also sending out pay-per-view messages. What do you feel you would pay for your content? I chose $18. I also have bundle deals where you can get a discount and I also have a ongoing promotion where you only have to pay $4.50 for the first month. Now this offers um, and entices new fans to come and check out my page and if they like what they see then they can pay that premium price of $18. Um, and I also give my rebill which are people that have auto renew on where they don't have to click, okay, pay every single month. It just auto charges them every single month. I also give them free content every month to entice them to stay for that $18. And the reason why I chose that is because I would feel comfortable paying that. It's less than four coffees a month, really, if you think about it in terms of how much people spend on coffee. And for me, because I also already have a personality online, like I already do YouTube, I already was doing TikTok at the time, and also Instagram, I feel like because I'm a personality online, it is worth it to charge a little bit more. 
if you don't have a social media presence, it doesn't mean that you can't charge that much. You totally can. Like I said, it's completely up to you. Oh, and another thing to think about is you can price high or you can price low. There is gonna be pros and cons to either, but could you price higher? Yes. Or could you price lower for more fans? Also, yes. You could like make a lot of money both ways. You just have to think about what feels good for you. Along with your subscription price, I want to talk about running a promotion. So I run an ongoing promotion that's always on my page. You don't have to set a number to it. There are options for you to set numbers. So like you can do a promotion for the next 20 people or 100 people or whatever. I just do an ongoing promotion promotion and for that my ongoing promotion is like 75% off I don't know but it's $18 is my normal price and then it's $4.50 for people that are new and coming to my page the reason why I do that is to just offer an incentive for new people you know it's not that expensive to just test it out and if you like it you can pay the premium price I would recommend always having a deal running always having a promotion or you know always having days where you're running those promotions to kind of push your page and market your page the next thing I want to talk about is having a tip menu. So we are going to get into how to price all the content, but let's talk about a tip menu. So the first thing on my page and a lot of girls pages is a menu of all the content that they offer or all the customs that they offer or all the experiences that they offer. I'll get into that. Um, and it all has the price tag right next to it. So you can say, okay, they have a video, a pre-made video of a strip tease and that is $17 or whatever, or they they have the girlfriend experience for $200 or they have um, custom videos for $20 per minute, whatever it is, right? So that is what a tip menu is. And I made mine on Instagram stories. It was super easy. You just do it with the create option. And then also I've heard tons of people making their tip menu with Canva, which is another free and super easy way to use. And it's kind of like Photoshop, but just simplified. If you are going to make a tip menu, you can totally get ideas from other girls, but don't take their tip menu like they made that themselves and that is illegal to take someone else's art and someone else's content you can completely you know write the exact same stuff if that's what you offer you can use the same prices and everything but if they designed that and they put that on their page you cannot take their content I have noticed that some people have used my tip menu and I completely want to help everybody and that's why I make these videos but it was also you know I made that tip menu for my fans I designed it for my page and I, I wouldn't want anyone else to have their content stolen so you can make your own tip menu it's very easy and I'm going to show you how Okay, so as promised, here is how I use Instagram stories to create my tip menu. I drag in a photo on stories, and then I use the different fonts to create my tip menu. It's as simple as that. You can use any of the fun fonts that they have, change the different colors, and then I also make different shapes using the other options for fonts, and you'll see that here. And then once I'm done, I just click at the top, save, and then I delete it off of my Instagram. Um, I don't post it, I just hit the back button and it completely disappears. Now, how do we price all this content that is on our tip menu or on our customs menu? So there are different ways to price your content. Some people do like an equation, like my base price is this and there's add-ons for each thing and you can do an equation like that and then you can express that equation, but just know you don't have to explain yourself to anybody if you don't want to. Don't feel like you have to justify your cost because you totally don't. Some people do an equation, Some people People just do a base price and you can always always change your price I sometimes edit my tip menu to reflect what I'm feeling in the moment because sometimes I don't want to do a bunch of custom content so instead I'll make my custom content a little bit priced a little bit higher so that less people are actually inclined to buy it but then I make more per video that I'm doing so it really depends what you feel comfortable with and also depends on how many customs you're getting asked for so you can do an equation or you can do a base number and also I sell things differently based on if they are pre-made videos or custom videos and the pre-made videos uh, it's kind of hard to say how I price them at because my custom videos I price per minute and my pre-made videos I do not price per minute I price them like kind of randomly I'll explain that. Okay, so this is my tip menu. And like I said, my tip menu, I've changed a few times and it is really just dependent on how much time I have, how many followers I have at the moment, how many people are asking for requests and what I feel comfortable with in the moment. I've changed it literally so many times. So don't feel like you can't change it after you've made it. You can completely change everything. And then I also have a tip menu for pre-made videos and you can 
pin any of these to your page, click the three dots and then push pin to profile. Okay, so for my tip menu, I categorize things into different sections. I have a videos section, I have a ratings section, and then I have a picture section and a dirty DMs or like sexting section. Like I said, you can have a formula to it, but these are my base prices and I do actually charge for extra things for my clothed videos. So say somebody wants me to dance, but I'm wearing clothes. Then I charge $15 per minute. Then for topless, I charge $20 per minute. And then for fully, you know, open, I charge $25 per minute. And then if there's any extra type things, if there's like kinks, fetishes, um, they want certain outfits, they want me to use their name, this or that, then I would charge a bit more like according to whatever it is. And I just say, okay, it's this much per minute, plus you did want your name in it, which if their name is in it, obviously you can't resell that content. And I do choose to resell a lot of my content normally when I'm sending it. I don't charge the same amount that I would actually send to somebody. So if they wanted a custom video and say it's like $100 cause it was $25 per minute, they asked for that custom video. So I would charge the $100. Now it's a four minute video. If I was sending that out in pay-per-view messages for a four minute video, I normally would charge like $5 per minute for um, videos that I send in pay-per-view message that are not custom. So then it would be around $20 for a four minute video. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't always charge $5 per minute. Like I'm not like hard on that, but I would say that's around what I charge. So like a two minute video, I charge around $10. Um, and so sometimes that's $8, sometimes that's $12, but that's normally what I charge. So yeah, the customs are a lot higher. I will resell customs because there are my videos. If someone's name's in it, then I will either say their name in the beginning or end so I can cut it out. Or if it's somewhere in the middle um, and they like want it a specific way, then I would charge a little extra. If they want outfits and this and that, I will negotiate with them a price. I'll say this is my base price, but since you want all the extra, it's gonna take a little bit more time. I'm gonna have to add on tack, you know, whatever on for each one. I don't have a specific price for that, but I will say I have a repeat customer that asks for a lot of like skirts and tights type of content and they want me to role play. So I charge like over $200. So really it's up to you and you can kind of negotiate with that person. Like, hey, you want a lot for this. I'm gonna actually charge, you know, however much time it's gonna take me to set up, get dressed. Like I'm not just gonna charge for the amount of minutes you want for the content. Like say you want a five minute video, but it's gonna take me 20 minutes to set up, you know, rem remember the lines of, for the scene, um, all of the above. So then you can charge, you know, per minute that you actually are gonna be setting up. So that's how I would charge for those type of things. I would say my prices are, are pretty standard or average, I think. I do a lot of investigative research on OnlyFans. Like I follow girls, I look into it, I watch videos, I chat with girls. Like I'm very deeply involved. So I would say, that my prices are like pretty decent, pretty average. Um, they're not super high, they're not super low. For pre-made videos and for pay-per-view messages, I normally typically charge around $5 per minute for a video. It's not always exactly $5 per minute, but I would say most of the time it is. And then it also depends on what I'm doing. So say like a strip tease for two minutes and a like, playtime video for two minutes, those are gonna be priced a little bit different. So like say the strip tease, that one, it would be more on the low side. So maybe for two minutes, I would just do $5. And then for the playtime for, for two minutes, I would charge, you know, $12 or something like that. That's how I kind of price out my pre-made content. Now on this pre-made menu that I have, I would recommend writing numbers on it. So, you know, video number one, you write one and then you describe the video and then you put the price that it is. So then someone can say, oh, I want pre-made video number one. And then you just send them that video. Unfortunately, mine don't have numbers and I really need to remake my pre-made video thing. Cause a lot of times people will just write, oh, can I have the blah, 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 blah. And I feel like that's just harder for everyone. It would just be easier if there was numbers. So that's why to you, I'm gonna say, uh, I recommend just numbering everything. Now let's talk about reselling the custom content that you make. I have had some people feel hurt because I've used clips from a custom video 
video that they bought. Like, you know on YouTube, people make videos of like one clip a day for a year and then they put it all together and it's like this long clip of like videos from their YouTube. I kind of make those every once in a while where I'll take like the best clips from some of my videos and mash them together and it's like one long clip of like the best moments on my OnlyFans. So I've made a lot of videos of that and I use some of my customs in those videos. And when I s sent those out, people love them, but I've had people say, oh, that clip was from my custom video. And somebody did get upset about that, but I will say just cause someone buys your content doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that they own it. And you can still reuse your customs. Obviously you're gonna charge more for those customs cause you have to physically go out of your way and make this specific video. And then you charge more for it because you had to go out of your way to make them happy. But now you can reuse that content and sell it for your regular prices because more people are gonna buy it and you're gonna equal out the same amount of money that you would have for sending it to that one person. And it's your content. It's like making art. The You know, someone could buy it and own that piece of art, but it doesn't mean that I can't still sell prints of the art that I made. You know what I'm saying? So it's very similar to that. Now let's talk about a free OnlyFans. So what I use my free OnlyFans for is a way to promote my paid OnlyFans. Now I know some people use it in the opposite way where they don't actually share their free OnlyFans unless you buy their paid OnlyFans. I've heard that before and I think the reason for that is because they can lock messages. Like I said, it's like a way you can lock messages without having to resend your content all the time, which I think is a really cool idea. But I use mine as a promotional um, way to promote my paid page. So it's kind of like a tamed down version of my OnlyFans, a watered down version. Like it's still sexy, but it's not like fully sexy, it's not fully juicy, it's like a watered down juice, you know what I mean? I do that and then I also post some of my videos. So I'll post some of my videos in a lock form on, on my paid page so that they can get a little taste and I can still make money over there, which I do. Um, and then I also charge way, way more for those videos over there since they're not paying for the premium price of my OnlyFans. So I like double or even triple the cost that it would be on my paid OnlyFans. So that's how I use my free OnlyFans. A lot of times you'll have a, way, a lot more followers on your free page. Like on my free page, I have like quadruple or even more followers on my free page. So anyways, that is my tips on how to price your OnlyFans content. It's really up to you. I hope this was helpful though, to get you started and to kind of find what feels comfortable for you. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below. And if you are just getting started on OnlyFans or you just need a little more help and support and you've already been doing it for while. I also have an online course you can sign up for, which comes with a mentorship with me. So it is an eight week program. You get the online course and you also get conversations and calls with me. That way, if you have any real deep questions that you need help with, and then my videos don't cover, we can go over them together. I can really help you and support you through this journey. That'll all be linked down below. And with that all being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.